Right guys, I'm going to assemble this AAP GTI PCC kit as you can see here in front of me Now, I'm just going to go through what you need and I'll show you how to do it then I did say in my last video that I was going to use my Noveski parts for this but I ain't gonna lie, they didn't fit. I've already tried to do a video, them parts wouldn't fit. The hand guard, the inner outer barrel, the outer barrel, sorry. And the nut wouldn't fit. It just was too small for these threads. Even my AGs, the Noveski, wouldn't fit on that one either. Something about the barrel nut and the threads and the barrel nut are smaller than normal standard so there you go I have to change the plan on that so I'm putting this rail on this barrel and this barrel nut and just a cheap old barrel I had laying around until I get another one so alright what I'm going to do first is to show you the parts you're going to need is your lower your bolt, your hop unit, now I'll stay on the hop unit, as you can see the wheels have gone, I've took them off because they're not needed anymore, because you have the TDC that you apply a screw into there, you remove that screw and use the screw supplied in the bag, just to pop this on, it's simple enough, you just pop the little arm piece inside there your nub of choice rather flat hop you can use the round circle nubs if you want or the concave nubs and then just press that down into there and put whatever bucket you want in whatever barrel you're using and that's basically it on that it's a simple process so I wasn't just going to bother showing you that it's simple and I also attached a stock now this is an AAG stock what you do is take it off AAG pop it on there same thing with the screw screw it in done that's basically all you do there there's nothing big about that now what I'll do is put it together first off I have the up here, here barrel assembly barrel instead of putting it down there like I've seen some do I'll just throw the back simplest way push it in there line it up with the two holes get your screws them in, Allen wrench or one of these, all I have is an Allen key because I brought my other screwdriver I had for this, no okay, data will line up for some reason. Now you might need to put a bit of Loctite on this because with the vibration of gas and all that they can back out a bit and come loose. Right, next step your bolt, you can pop 
about in there. There, just long screw go through where the pin used to be. Just line it up. I keep going for this. <laughs> it's not the right size. the other side back a big screw so I'm pulling in because it's not down properly yet Up your barrel nut and your outer barrel. See there, it's just not quite right fitting there. So I'm not going to dremel this bit, I'm just going to dremel these little lugs either side. Right, I'm going to pause you and I'll be back to you in a second when I've done that. Right, have that done. You can see it's a little bit snug there. But there we go. Now, 
barrel nut. Need something like these or if you have the I think they call it an armorer's tool, I'm not too sure what to call it, but for this type of thing. That sounds no good, I don't want to do it anymore. Next step, the rail of choice. Make sure you get the barrel nut. If you buy a rail, make sure you get the right barrel nut for it. Up there and make sure it's lining up because you don't want it tilting off wonky to the side screw that side slightly do that up there Make sure it's all meeting together. <clears throat> Buttons. Now, last step, screw either side. side as well Suppressor I'm putting on it. Try the other way. I'm going to tie it that way. Give me trouble. Okay, try with a different one. There we go, that's it, all together.
no, your site of choice and attach it wherever you like. It's very hot here in Ireland for some reason right now this second I am absolutely dripping don't understand why it's so hot, it's like the tropics There we go. I will do a little screenshot video kind of at the end of this one just to show you the full length view of it. Right. Take the mic out. There's no babies in that by the way. Just rack it to see if it's smooth or sticking or anything mm -hmm. it's grand zero in your sight stick some nice heavy ammo in it and check your FPS which I will do that now bear with me Right, I'm going to use 32 gram BB. Three hundred and fifty four FPS one point eight three joules. Ooh, she's hot for here anyway. Ah, it's gone down. Zero point nine nine of a joule, two hundred and fifty eight. One point one two six of a jewel, two hundred and seventy-five. It's weirdly all over the place that. See down again, zero point nine six of a jewel, two hundred and fifty-four. One point zero nine eight two hundred and seventy one. So it's variant. Jesus is one point eight joules down to it's up and down like a yo yo, whatever that issue is, but there you go. Could be that barrel. As I say I'm not using that barrel for long, I'm going to change that out. I'm going to have to do something with the dual rate because that ain't right. Mm. Yeah. So I'll do a little video to show you the full length of it and see what it is then. Right guys, just the full length of it. Not 
so I'm glad I like it. I think I'll keep it like this instead of any of the other way I had it. I had two different rails on it, so as I say, I tried the Noveski and I'll put up pictures, I'll add pictures to show you what the other rails look like. So that's it guys, I hope you liked the video, hit the like button if you did, and if you want to subscribe, do so, take it easy.